Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I <laughs> hope you're all doing well. Then I started teaching. Kids are brutal, Melissa. Kids are so freaking brutal. <laughs> when you haven't gotten enough sleep, you got to be well rested to deal with those fuckers. <laughs> Indeed. I agree. We'll go off to bed. Have some sleep. Be well rested through your weekend and be prepared for those fuckers on Monday. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> it's good to see you, my friend. All right. As for the rest of us, as for the rest of us night owls and or people on the West Coast, I have noticed that most of the people that tune into the stream are on the West Coast, presumably because it's not fucking 11 o'clock when I start streaming. <laughs> so th there is that. Um, but, you know, it's the time that works for me. So we make it work. Um, welcome everyone else who is uh, joining us tonight for our uh, fourth foray into the bro format. We are looking to three-peat. Um, we've started out with a 1-3 on the first night of the format and then went 7-2, seven 7-2 two, seven two the last two nights. So we're seeing if we can three-peat for the night. Um, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Flubab is here. What's going on, Flubab? What are we three pinning? We're trying for our third trophy in three nights. That is the deal. Whoa! Look at what we got to start. We got a precursor golem. Whoa! 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 No! 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 Cancel! 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 What the hell is that? There we go. We got a precursor golem. Pretty sure we're taking that. There's also a, the might stone and the weak stone, which is fine. But precursor golem is sick. Um. The rest of this is just kind of, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. About how fun your week has been. Oh, no. I'll have to check that out, Melissa. <laughs> um, I hope it is fun good, although I fear that it might not be. Um, I really, yeah, I think I should take Precursor Golem over Might Stone and Weak Stone. It's just... This is like a removal spell, slash card draw spell, slash ramp spell, whatever. But this is just, I mean, nine power for five minute in a can. I think that's just worth taking. Okay, now what do we have to go with it? That is the question. Um, I don't think I really want Monastery Swift Spear to go with my Precursor Golem. Uh, what is a bro Pete? Is that when you find the same bro three times? Fun was act was not actually had. Yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was assuming. I'm sorry. To hear that. Um, I think that Argothian Opportunist is the best card in this pack. I think Trench Stalker is at least somewhat close. But I'm gonna take the. This is a good curve. Turn three into turn four Precursor Golem. Um, so Bro Three Pete is hopefully a third trophy in three days. That is the goal. Uh, Battery Bear, I'm in for that one. I think I'm taking Battery Bear over Boulder Branch Golem, although I really liked Boulder Branch Golem. Um, this card was sick nasty. Sick nasty. Good night, Melissa. We will talk to you soon, and I will be sure to, to read about your terrible, rotten, no good, very bad week and uh, send you some love. But for now, we're going to take Battery Bear. Because everybody knows I can't read and draft at the same time. That just is not how math works for me. I'm going to take another opportunist. I said I'm going to take another opportunist. There we go. Ooh. Um... Tokasia is already in blue and green, which we're kind of already touching. Um, this adds a lot of power uh, for one additional white mana. I'm not sure if we can actually get there. Um, I could also take this tower worker. 
be about the only other card I'd be interested in in this pack. Uh, no, that's not true. Guy is good. I think Guy is... Uh, yeah, I would like to take this Takasia. Can we take this Takasia, guys? What do you think? I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it. We got to be looking for um, Evolving Wilds at this particular moment now. I don't particularly like any of these. Um, and not just in our colors. Like, besides the Trench Stalker, I don't really see a lot, period. There's an Honor Guard as a two drop, though. So I think we're just going to take that. Just curve concerns. Okay, we're definitely not seeing the big payoffs yet. But we could get those in pack two. Um. I mean, the best cards in the pack, I believe, to not be Razor Maul. I believe it to be Power Stone Fracture and or Phalanx Vanguard. So we could hedge a little bit. Maybe take the Power Stone Fracture in case we needed to move out of, like, blue specifically. Like, I'm green no matter what, though. So I guess I'm going to take the Razor Maul. With two opportunists and the, um, well, I guess I was going to say and the battery bearer, but if, you know, we don't end up green blue, then it doesn't really matter that we're green or not if we're, so the battery bearer may not be, you know, uh, accessible as a purely green card. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little, little worried. We're getting kind of pushed around here. I don't really want a second razor mall necessarily. Maybe if we'd taken that Gaia's whatever Majigger. Um, so, you know, this was protectable for a turn. Well, they kind of ran a two power creature into it and then it traded for something real. Um, I don't think this is a Howling Mine type deck. I think the best card in the pack is a Whirling Strike. There's a possibility we end up green red. So, I will take that, I suppose. The, um, the Razor Maul would be fine in green red, you know. Uh, funnily enough. Um, See, so yeah, there's a Chain Dancer here. There's also an Honor Guard. There's a third Path Savant, but I don't, really don't think that's what I want out of blue, honestly. I mean, I'm going to take the Honor Guard again because, once again, I'm pretty sure I know I'm green. And, yeah, I mean, the best card in the pack, I believe, to be this Trench Stalker that somehow wields, so... There is Gigamol though, and Gigamol goes better, I believe, in the green black deck. Like, we're not going to be drawing a ton of extra cards with Trench Stalker. So, yeah, maybe we actually take Gigamol. It's not as good, I believe, as Trench Stalker, but if we had to pair black with green, this might be better. Whereas, we're not going to be able to drawing a lot of cards to an an activate the Trench Stalker. Yeah, I mean, this car uh, Carrion Locust is kind of. Kind of doing the thing. It's not exciting, but... I don't like any of these cards. I'll take the uncommon, I guess. I don't really want to play that. Same thing here. I don't like any of these cards. Okay. In the trenches, can we be a white deck? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. I don't think so. As much as I want to take advantage of the sweet mythic there, I don't think that it's something that we can really afford to do with a whole pack's worth of stuff not producing much white. What do we have down here? Yeah, no, we have a Survivor of Corleos, uh, Corliss and a Great Desert Prospector in white. I don't think that's going to cut it. I think I'm just going to take the um, the Gaia's Courser here, and I think we're kind of going to solidify into probably trying Black Green Self Mill. Probably taking the Swirling Strike out and the Battery Bear, unfortunately, which also means the Takasia goes.
Who are you? <laughs> I'm trying to stay focused, Blue Bad. <laughs> I know, it's it's hardly recognizable, right? Um, and it's not paying off right now. That's for certain. Nothing in this pack is anything I'm really interested in. I guess I'm just taking it go for the throat. I mean, it's solid removal, but I don't know that it's the second pick in the format with so many artifacts. Ooh, this one is spicy, though. This one is really spicy. Uh, yeah, I'm in for that. Let's just produce a shit ton of mana. What does this thing do? Whenever one or more artifact and or creature cards leave your graveyard. Uh, right now we have zero unearth things. So I don't think that's necessarily where it's at. I guess this counts as making something leave the graveyard. Um, I mean, it's got the highest upside, I think. I don't really know that I want a second one of these two one flyers for three. I guess I'm going to try and take the Thran Vigil. Could also just take the Epic Confrontation. That's probably just better. Let's just take the Epic Confrontation. Let's just not try to overcomplicate things. Yeah, I think I'm just in for another epic confrontation. We could take this uh, Gnarl Root Paul Bearer, but I think we're fine not doing that. So... Tonight's question chat is how many times will we play Precursor Golem and then they destroy all three golems with one removal spell? How many times tonight is that going to happen? <laughs> I am prepared for it to be greater than zero, um, but I hope it's not too high. Take another Argothian Opportunist. We have nothing to do with the Power Stones yet. We have no Mana Sinks whatsoever, realistically, which I'm not happy about. We saw the 165. We took the battery charger or whatever over it. We have not seen anything else since. We also saw one of the 1010s, I guess. Hey, there's a Boulder Branch Golem, Speak of the Devil. We're definitely taking that over a Gaia's Gift. Had a fun green blue deck today. I really liked green blue when we played it. I really, really did. Thought it was very good. Um, yeah, definitely taking a Boulder Branch Golem, though. I mean, I guess I'm going to take a tower worker here. Okay. Uh, Argivian Avenger or Pallbearer? Probably Pallbearer. Although I'm not certain of that. Another two drop. This is also our second worker, so maybe. It's 
So, Cawthorn, what were you doing in your uh, your green blue deck? Carrion Locust or Mine Worker? I guess I'm going to take the two drop. Phyrexian Processing. Nice, 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 nice. I don't like any of these. I'll take the Uncommon. Keep of the Cadence or Recommission. We'll just take the Uncommon, I guess. Okay, last pick. Pretty good card that nobody's playing. Good. How good is that card? It seems good. This also seems pretty good. <laughs> wow. That's brutal. Um, I think I'm just taking the Golem, though. Like, I need payoffs more than I need any of this other little shit. You know, I've got, like, a lot of mana production right now that I have no payoffs for. I just want the Golem. Oh, my gosh. Stupid battery bear. I guess I'm just taking Bailoff. Just a life gain card. We could also take the Suchi, but I don't think that's really where it's at. It's either Bailoth or another Opportunist. I think I'm just going to take Bailoth. Bailoth got downshifted to Uncommon. I guess I didn't realize that. That's interesting. Warplow or Pallbearer or Butcher... Gaia's Gift to get one of those in the mix. I think I'm going to take a Warp. I just want more payoffs. Oh, Mask. I didn't even see Mask. Yeah, 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 I should definitely be taking Mask here. You're right. This is a card that I think I was sleeping on, but I've heard from multiple people that this is good. So, okay. Definitely going to try a Mask out. Good call. Good call, Cawthorn. Perilous Vault. Or a Gigapede. I'm going to try this Gigapede. We don't have a lot of fours. Or Giga Mole, whatever. <clears throat> Take a Rest Goliath here. Over a uh, Patrol. I think. Yeah, I think our three drops are pretty much Opportunists and Razor Maws. See, I'm going to take this Rush Goliath. I think I'm going to take the Rager here over another raz Razor Maw. Not a lot for us here. Um, second tower worker kind of is more ramp, I guess. We don't have enough payoffs, but I don't think we're going to get many more. So we got to be happy with what we got, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to try out a Gix's Crest. I've heard good things about that as well. Um, I think it's mostly because if you have good fives, right? Like... I guess we only have two good fives. Only one we can play off a. Uh, so I guess it's really only Precursor Golem. Maybe that was a hasty pick there. I think this is better in the sack deck. I just want to make them lose life, I guess. Wow, look at that thing. Just still in the pack. Oh, it makes you sick. I want to take it. I don't need a second Gix's Crest for sure. I don't want a Fog of War, Taunus's, whatever. No one playing green blue. Apparently not. I tried. I wanted to be, but it was getting it was getting sucked up. You know, like I just wasn't getting anything for it. Like, black seemed much more open. I mean, clearly we fought for green a little bit, but I was not uh, was not loving the spot for blue. 
I don't really like this card a lot. If it gave the thing trample too, that would be great. I kind of want to take this guy as gift, but I just, like I said, I just feel like I need more payoffs for producing menas. Alright, let's take a look at how we did. I don't feel great about it, to be honest. But that's often how I feel until we start playing the game. So we'll see, we'll see. Definitely think we can cut down to like, you know, three, two drops. The beef of is going to come at the three drop slot. I like the tower worker can still ramp us into like death bloom ritualist or pallbearer, whereas the power stones really can't do that. Alright, but we gotta cut way more cards, so let's just cut the other worker. I'd rather a three one it just trades better. <clears throat> and the question is like these opportunists are in my opinion a very good card just in general. But are we even using it all that well? That's the question. I mean, we do have these three branch boulder, or boulder branch golems, or two of them. Um, but that's really the only thing that we're realistically going to be using our power stones on. I mean, it's it's going to be very rare that we're playing rest golem for 10 in this deck, right? Yeah, I'm not actually sure we did the thing for Green Black. Um, like Razor Maw and Gigapede are the cards that put things into the graveyard, but we didn't really get any of the, like, you know, get stuff out of the graveyard synergies, um, which leads to this deck being a little bit confused, right? Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to ramp into bigger things, but my way of doing that of uh, being power stones kind of is awkward and we don't have enough of it to really even get to rust golem all that consistently um the death bloom ritualist is going to be good however you know that's really all we got going on yeah i'm not i'm not too sure this deck is structurally sound um i guess we have the mask that we can mill that is going to be very good um Maybe we're just trying to win as many games as possible with like Opportunist, Tower Worker, Grit, Gix's Caress, just anything that makes a turn five or turn four processor golem or precursor golem rather, and uh, just trying to just get them. <laughs> um, as sad as that sounds, you know, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised that this comes together in a more coherent way than I'm thinking, but I'm not hopeful. If that's our plan, I think we can actually cut our two drops and start on three. Um, yeah, I think maybe we should cut the razor moss. That's kind of where I was. That's kind of the next thing that I was getting to, right? If our, if our plan is to play opportunist or a tower worker on three, we really don't need uh, the four two. It just really didn't come together. I, uh, the Paul bearer. This thing, um, I'm not sure about that one yet because we still do want some kind of upper end. Like, I'm not sure that two branch collar or boulder branches and a rust goliath. I'm actually more inclined to cut the rust goliath. Um, I do agree if it gave trample, it would be better. And it's definitely going to be worse now that we just caught the four twos. 
I think I may also cut the Giga Moles and just not do them the graveyard stuff at all. But I'm, we only need to cut one more card. Like, I, I guess these need to stay in. Um, I definitely want this to be a 17 land deck, I think. I think I'm just going to cut one of the Giga Moles and play it like this. Yeah, this one's shaky, chat. I'm not going to lie. This one is a little bit shaky. I was taking reasonable cards, but I really didn't get there as far as thinking about how they would work together in a meaningful way. And I think that's going to cost us. But we're going to do our best. We're going to try and get some wins. Uh, we got some double greens, no, no double blacks. We're more green than black. Green is more important to have early. Like, if we need to play an opportunist, I'd much rather play that than, than have one of these, like, stuck in hand. I don't really care about that. All right, let's go. Precursor Gollum. Get you every time. Very good card, though. We don't have a precursor golem, so I'm pretty sure we mulligan. <laughs> All right, in all seriousness, we'll keep, but we won't be happy. Whoa! Damn. Uh, that's going to get us. That's going to get us pretty good. They just bash us for six if they want. They don't want. Okay. Good. Yes, yeah, such a bomb. Such a bomb. They should have definitely attacked before playing that, though. I would have definitely taken two. So this right now produces zero. So no bueno. Yeah, I guess we just play this. Wow. Uh, what? What? Why? Why? Okay. I mean, I accept. That was great for us, wasn't it? Oh, no. Ours, ex it exiles. It exiles. Never mind. Okay. No, it destroys it. Why? What? Why did it? Oh, because the misery shadow. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Got it. So it was it was better than. So that makes this thing suck ass, huh? Like this sucks. This sucks. Uh, God damn it. Okay, that was a weird time to do that, I guess. Artifact enchantment or creature with flying or target with neck two, neck two. I guess this can't kill our opportunist, which we plan on playing this turn. So I'm gonna take the disfigure. But this this kills a Rust Goliath. 
which I guess is maybe the way we're planning to win this game. So yeah, I'm going to take the shoot down actually. Okay. Taking six. Also, this thing sucks. Man, Misery Shadow is like fucking our deck right now. How dare it. Quiet as spiking flyers as cheats. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. Oh my. Okay. I mean, we can. We can do that no matter if we play something first, right? Like, my question is, are we really attacking in when they can attack back with Shadow? Like, this held back their Shadow last turn. You know what I mean? If we played Deathbloom? What do you mean? Like, this isn't going to hold this back. It won't with 9 mana. What are you talking about? It will, like, it did, well, yeah, I see what you're saying. They could pump through it, but, like, right. I know, I know I can't play Moment if I play Death, I can't play Moment if I play anything. That's why I was going to play Butcher and leave up Moment, right? But then I don't want to attack with Pallbearer because I'm going to need the amount of power it's going to take off everything, basically, to get this fucking thing off the board. I don't think I attack and I think I play Butcher. That's my plan. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, so they can pump six times to make it a 7-7 seven, seven, and still have up this figure. So I think I'm just supposed to block with both. And that's going to ensure like kind of a three for two in their favor, but it's going to get this thing off the board. And after that, I got to start worrying about the sprite starting to grow large. But at that point, you know, at least my creatures will be dying. So I'll get, you know, graveyard stuff going on. Maybe I can get this Rust Goliath in play. <clears throat> Oh, did I miscalculate? Did I fucking miscount? Oh, no, Chad, I miscounted. But that's okay, because they played this too early, so now I can just do this. It doesn't matter. Okay, but apparently I had miscounted.
Okay, Precursor Golem is pretty sweet here. Um, if I play, I can play Precursor plus Argothian Opportunist, and Argothian lets us play Rescoliath next turn. Yeah, I think I like all of that. Okay, that was a good draw for them. That was a very good draw. Wow. Shit. They attack with Sprite. What the fuck does that do? Dude, they're they're fucking crazy. I accept. Happy weekend! We're doing it! We're doing it! Whew! Boy! That was an uh, interesting game. All right, we are back into uh, the tiers where we actually rank up once <laughs> every time we win instead of twice. So, hard mode activated. Carlton, you got big plans for the weekend, my friend? Prepare for the in-laws. All right, all right, that's respectable. Okay, I mean, this is turn three, turn four, and as long as we hit a fifth land drop, that's turn five, Boulder Branch. That's not bad. That's a nice one for later. They get their own mask, okay. Whoa, they are fucking milling the shit out of themselves. Damn. They're halfway through their deck, chat. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow. Okay. Probably getting back Spider, I have to imagine, right? No, got back uh, Skull Flare. Okay. Oh, whatever. Oh, that thing does grow pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> yep. So do we kill that now? We kill that and we play the Rager. Yeah, that's better, right? Let's just do that.
Okay, they get the spider back this time. Damn, getting the spider back off that because it makes the 1-1-2 one, one, is sick. Okay, I'm happy you didn't hit the mask. That's cool, that's cool. <sighs> I think we just do this though, right? Go for the third. Pretty good here. Okay. Let's see if I can get a clean two for one here. I can get a two for one. Nice. They should have blocked first, right? Oh, they did block first. Okay, good. They did, right? They did, right? <clears throat> no creatures. Three, four. All right. Go ahead. So that's the fifth mana they need to uh, unearth plus be able to trade with the golem. But ours is obviously bigger still, so that's nice. Yep. I don't even know that we offer that trade, to be honest. I think we just pop ours. So that's eight. We make an eight eight. No, we make a ten ten. Yeah, because we don't have to unearth ours. It would be a seven seven if we unearthed. I'll just start putting them in the abyss, I think, or we'll swing next turn when you know, they'll have to produce a blocker for the golem and for the... Okay. That's fine. I think I'm just putting them in the abyss plus making another one. We make a 7-7, seven, seven, which is still bigger than either of their creatures. Possibly an 8-8 eight, eight if we draw land. Okay, fair enough. Three cards in the graveyard. So we make that a six, seven. And we just don't unearth the mask this turn. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Acceptable. Whoa. Okay, no blocks.
I mean, if they want to block the Rager, they go to three. So I think I'm going to attack it with the Rager as well. And then if they don't, if they block here, then we precursor plus this. He's going wide. Hey, Precursor Golem living up to the hype. <laughs> all right, all right. Two and oh. See if we can keep this party rolling. Huh. Yeah, I can't keep this one, I think, huh? Alright, we'll keep it. We'll put back a land and we'll hope to do stuff at some point in this game. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> yeah. Angel of Census. Remember when we got that last pick? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. They probably just got in for two points there, honestly. I'm I'm trying to get my third trophy in a row. So I'm three-peating my trophy run. That is the idea. <laughs> I really didn't think this was like that complicated of a concept. <laughs> That's why I put it in there. I was like, obviously people are gonna know what a three-peat is. Yeah, yeah, I got trophies on day two and day three. After our abysmal one and three start, we went seven, two, seven, two. You understand? Well, that's what I thought. I was like, people know what three peats are, right? So, gotcha. <clears throat> Am I attacking into this? Probably not, right? There's too much that can go wrong. What could go wrong? I guess plus two plus one uh, kills this, and I can't really, I guess, yeah, they wait to see the order in which I block, and they plus, just plus two plus one, whichever one I put first, and I can't really do anything about that. I guess I could epic confrontation and then attack. I guess that's not bad. If I epic confrontation here, how do they punish me for that, right? But then I can't paw bear, but I could, I could play another tower worker. This might be aggressive, I'm not sure. But it does mean I can attack this turn, so. All right, we've gotten all the mana situated we can we can draw more big things now okay they have a three three flyer damn 
I hate that emergency weld. It's so good. So good. And it's back. Shit. Well, now that the board is gummed up, I really wish I had a removal spell for that flyer. <laughs> I told y'all it was uh, aggressive, but I just felt like we should go for it. Give it that plus O, plus O. Maybe I should have attacked first. If I attack, they would need a trick. I think I'm clear to attack, actually. Yeah. Should have clearly attacked first, but I think with their untapped mana, we were pretty clear to attack no matter what. I might block with one of these tower workers just to get it in the fucking graveyard. <laughs> so our Paul Bear can do something. Yeah, I think I'm going to trade my worker for the Vangel here. And if they have a removal spell for the Paul Bear, it is what it is. They don't, okay. Man, they are going off, chat. Hmm. We have to be fast because these things are gonna are gonna add up over time. I think so. Four. So we give the plus one plus one to the ritualist, so we can attack with that as well. But no, they still they just block skull flare, Thraxa demon, and worker on it, and I still just trade my. Ritualist for the Skull Flare, although that might not be terrible for me, because that's their threat that's going to grow over time. I think I'd be willing to do that. I'm going to tap the Worker, even though it means that we're empty, or um, we have one less blocker, because I want to, uh, I want to not give away that we have nothing but land in hand. Okay, they just jump. I'm down with that. You attacked with five soldiers with Harbin, and it was glorious. Nice. They all got flying in plus one, plus one, and boom. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we just win this with the tramplers now, but you never know. That could swing a race. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that in limited, not going to lie. Yeah, that's a, that's a feat to be sure. Okay, so we're going to trade a pallbearer for the onulet, and that's going to put a creature in the graveyard, and that's going to grow, and we're kind of starting to get fucked. We need that not to be a land, and this not to be a great creature. Damn. Maybe I was actually supposed to kill the tower worker. It's actually possible I was supposed to kill the tower worker, huh? Yeah, that's that's freaking awesome, Cawthorn, in case I got sidetracked and didn't actually say so. That's quite a feat you have done. <laughs> Not going to lie. Another tower worker, damn it. They go to seven. Okay.
Okay, we attack, attack. They are forced to jump block with one of the tower workers. They untap. We play the scrap work. Rager go to eight. Say we don't draw anything playable. They untap. They attack with all. We block the four, five skull flare with the scrap work Rager. We take four. We go to four and we would win. So they still can't really attack if we smash all. So let's just do that. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. They said it didn't attack. Damn it. <laughs> Why, lands? Why? Ugh. They could have given this haste, though, right? So, like, if they didn't attack last turn, they're not going to attack this turn. So now we've held back. The skull flare is going to start getting bigger. Like, we've fallen very much behind here. They do find an attack now. Okay. They could have given this flying. I don't know. They're afraid of this last card in hand, I guess. Fuck. All right. Well, that's that's the game, clearly. Clearly. We just drew too many lands. Just didn't quite get there, chat. We needed one more thing, you know? Couldn't quite get over the hump. GG. Okay, one and two, or two and one. Let's see if we can uh, bounce back. Uncapitalized. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess. I'm very jealous of their evolving wilds, not gonna lie. Get that in play. If they remove it, it is what it is. But I'd rather not have to waste like a turn, like finding a spot to put it in play later. Although I guess we kind of got a free spot on turn five. We play our Gathering Opportunist on turn four or turn three. We play Gix's Crest on turn four. Or actually, yeah, okay. Well, now. Hmm. We'll see if I want a confrontation or caress next turn. We shall see. I wish I could caress plus confrontation, but neither one of those is a artifact. No blocks. Although maybe I should have blocked. Maybe I should have blocked, honestly. I will have other creatures for this confrontation, right? Uh, they're getting Chaplain back? Yeah, Chaplain getting Chaplain is pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Let's bail off.
Don't kill my mask. Damn it, motherfucker. Mm, don't like that so much. No, sir. I don't like it. Okay, so... What do I care about here? I guess the 4-4? Four four? That's aggressive use, but we know the cards in their hand are pretty shit. You know what I mean? I just want to get them dead. Yep. They got a planes? Oh, they're trying to... They're trying to save up for this. Interesting. I, mean, I guess. Are they going to double block if I attack with the opportunist? I guess I would be fine if they did, right? It's less thing to chump block the mask at some point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play the land here because if we hit a land next turn, we want to play it to unearth for the maximum amount of value. Right now we're unearthing for 5-5. Five, five. We could unearth for a 6-6 six, six if we draw a land next turn. Okay. Oh, wow. Third one of those? Okay. You want a Thraxidemon? That is the question. I'm assuming no. I think you just want a 2 2. Then again, what do I know? Oh, you got back that thing. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Five, six. Yeah, okay. So we'll just attack both. And so we are going to go ahead and get this back now, right? It's, it's weird that they didn't. Um, Leave that in the graveyard. So if I didn't do this this turn, they could have uh, they could have gotten it. I actually think we get the mask now just to make sure that we pop that off. Okay, the removal spell is gone. And we did draw another land. Alright, we could have gotten a 6-6. Six, six. It was still going to die the same. So I would trade the Bayloth for both their creatures and put them at 2. That would be fine. So let's just attack. Yep, okay. Hey, back on the wind train. Okay, we've locked up at least an even record. It's always the first big jump, you know. Uh, let's see if we can get to uh, break even money, roughly. Rick Dastardly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it seems fine. It seems fine. 
Lost to Tim Four Anchor. That card is nuts. I know. That card seems so fucking busted. Just draw three cards a turn. <laughs> so stupid. Five three can't complain. Absolutely, that's a great record, Crofton. Congratulations, profitable draft. Didn't realize you could play the bottom cards indefinitely. Yes, it does not say those cards that you bought them that turn. Like once you put it on the bottom, you may play those cards on any subsequent turn. So like if you bought them two lands, you can play those over the next two turns, which is stupid. <laughs> You know now, just didn't think it was that busted. Yeah, but now you know. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, white, green. Hope Trying to beat us down a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't quite happen. Drafted one and didn't play it because I didn't think it was. I was blue enough. In retrospect, I was. <laughs> he went 6-3 without it. Right on. Nothing wrong with that then. What is this thing? Uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Would definitely trade the sprite for the opportunist. They have to know that, though, so they're probably not attacking with it unless they have something. Yeah. Recluse. Okay, Precursor Golem. This isn't really the best board for Precursor Golem, but then again, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. <clears throat> yeah, that's the best thing we got going on. This is what we built the deck to do, chat. That's why we drafted three of these things, because we have a Precursor Golem. I guess I should have attacked first, but yeah, I figure they're not blocking. They're definitely not blocking with the recluse since it's going to kill a golem. And they're... Aww, chat. All right. Well, we won two games where that didn't happen, so it was about time that they killed it. You know? That's fine. That is the downside of Precursor Golem. Sometimes you get one for one, and you paid five mana, and they paid two. <laughs> In retrospect, maybe it was greedy to attack. <laughs> But on the other hand, if they wouldn't have killed it, you know. <laughs> they don't play the fucking duder, so they have something. Do you like how I sussed that out, chat? They definitely have something. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's definitely, you can hardly contain how, uh, how awesome my skills of deduction are. That was supposed to be a land. Alright, I think we're kind of stalled for right now. Let's just only take one in the air a turn. Deadly re... Is it, is it repost or repose? I've, I've never looked... Oh, it's the flash creature. Okay, good. I told you it was something, chat. I told you. Repost. Okay. Prison sentence, man. They're just bodying us. Look at look at this. I don't appreciate any of this. That's what the Google says. All right. Well, Google is never wrong. That's what I've learned in life, chat. Google is our friend. Thinking hard on the scry. I don't like it. No one would play search engine rankings for profit. Absolutely not. One top, one bottom. Okay. Oh, can't be blocked by artifact creatures? Damn. 
Damn, we're getting fucked. This one sucks. Um, it's not why I write articles on the internet for a living. Absolutely not. So do we even block here? I don't think so. Three. We just take six, go to five. We're dead to these flyers. Like, literally not next turn, but kind of close. No blocks. We're just, we're dying quickly. Quickly, quickly. Okay. You just say GG and concede? I'm not willing to say we're that far behind yet. <laughs> like, we're only going to take one in the air this turn. I'm going to kill the, the pumper. Oh, I should have done it in their upkeep. If they play a land, I'm kind of fucked. Yeah. I definitely had to kill the thing in their upkeep. All right. Didn't get punished. Never punished. Why didn't I play Tower Worker? Because I wanted to keep up go for the throat. Because I wanted to kill things. Like, they have two flyers. I'm killing the paratrooper this turn for sure. Like, if they ever hit fifth land, that's a real threat. And it also, you know, shortens their clock by quite a bit. The tower worker, I don't think, really did much. Oh, tower worker has reach. Oh, that's why you're asking. Got it. I still wanted to go for the threat, the, the thing that can pump their stuff. But uh, clearly they got it back anyway, so fuck me. Alright, um, new plan, play Tower Worker, and then Moment of Defiance it. Now it's bigger. Yeah, but now we have a Moment of Defiance, so it's fine. <laughs> Kinda. If they, if they still don't hit a land, if they still don't hit a land, then we're still okay. For a moment, we can be defiant. That's right. For one singular moment in time, we are defiant. Motherfucker. All right, we're no longer defiant. Uh, well, now we're just fucked. Why are they removing all our stuff, chat? I don't appreciate that shit. Two to the top? Holy hell. Um, are we? Negative. Oh, yeah, we are dead on board. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not, because we still have the moment of defiance to, to gain life. So we're not dead on board. Negative, Ghost Rider. Yep, exactly. You're basically dead. Um, if we draw the reach creature next turn, we're not dead. Hey, what did I say? What did I say? Okay. That's scary. That's a lot of power stones. <laughs> Holy fuck. What are they going to do with those? That's a lot of power stones. I accept. Oh, you're going to double pump next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured it out. Oh, they're also going to, like, fucking ramp a shit ton. Or, I guess, draw a shit ton of cards. All right. That's a pretty cool little synergy. Nice. Alright, pretty sure we're dead, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. 
Here they come. Bomber. All right, GG. <clears throat> womp womp. We held on, chat. We held on for as long as we could. All right, two, three and two, three and two. Let's try and get that fourth win locked up. Let's just rattle off four in a row. How about that? You cursed it with a three feet? Maybe. That's that's probably true. <laughs> We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. We can rattle off four in a row. I believe in us. Got to have faith, Jet. Got to have faith. I'm just trading here. Am I? No, probably not. What are you okay, okay, okay? Did I? No. I say that. I don't even realize it. Don't be like me, Cawthorn. <laughs> don't be like me. <laughs> Epic confrontation. Two for one. Got him. <laughs> um, yeah, now I think I am trading off. That was epic. It really was, wasn't it? Now I'm two thirds of the way there on our guy's course or two. Actually, I could just play Argothian plus Tower Worker. I think I like that better. Try and get the third creature in the graveyard before I even play the course or maybe. Also, I'm already up to eight mana for the Rust Golem. War Plow is a 1 1. Okay. That's going to trade with something. Okay, I would love to trade that off. Don't know how to orchestrate that, but we're working on it. So I attack in and I'd be happy to trade the opportunist off for either of these, honestly, because if I trade off the war plow, then I get to play the courser. If I trade off for the two, two, then I mean, that's just going to outvalue this in the long game anyways. So pretty sure I'm just playing the opportunist here or attacking with the opportunist here. Courser online.
Okay. Draw me a card. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. So what's the best I can do here? This is five damage. So actually, Moment of Defiance means that these don't trade at all. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do that, I guess. Actually, oh, I should have put the... I actually don't care about the Crusher. I should have put the Sprite there, I think, actually. No, nah, they've only got four mana. This is fine. Rest of life number two. Oh no, the other thing wasn't a rest of life. That was an Iron Clan Crusher. This is a rest of life. The thing that we're going to play is a 10-10. They just played it as a 3-4. A 3-5. Got it. Um, are we playing this? Like, I feel like we should Gaia's Caress. Check for traps, you know? And then just play the Boulder Branch. And then next turn we can play the Rest Goliath. That works, right? We got... Yeah, we got 7 and 3. I just tried to close your revealed cards box on stream. I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> That's fair. That's pretty fair, Cawthorn. Sometimes you just know when it's time. And that's a definite indication that it's time. Uh, Fauna Shaman is scary, right? Um, but this other Rescaliath, though? Do I really care about Fauna Shaman? Not really. What's the, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? I'm going to take the Rescaliath. I'm going to live dangerously, chat. So now I don't even think I attack with the course of this turn. I'll just play the Goliath. On a shaman. I'm just going to attack with both. They can double block something. But this has already gotten enough value. And I just want to start thinning their her their herd, I think. Drawing a combat trick would have been great there, obviously. But, you know, can't have everything. Sure. I'll trade with a sprite there. I mean, that's fine. Hey, you'd love to see that. Just didn't want to play with our 10 10. That worked pretty well. Check for traps, play a 10 10. We've reached the break-even point, chat. Man, I'm starting to yawn already? That's not good. I don't know that tonight's going to be an amazingly long stream. Um... I think after the draft, I probably am going to play a little bit of Marvel Snap, though. So, if you've been itching for some Marvel Snap, stay tuned. Uh, can we keep just off Mask? I'm going to try. I'm not sure that I'm convinced this is any good. 
precursor golem is good though if we can be in a reasonable position we'll get there now if you haven't seen precursor golem goes both ways so if we cast this moment of defiance on the main precursor golem the other golems do get the bonus as well so it's not only a downside it can be an upside let's see if we can make that happen of course we're getting beat the fuck down right now uh, opponents doing the sacrificey stuff but doesn't even have to because they're just smashing us in the face yeah we're pretty fucked chat all right it's gonna be a 4-3 kind of draft I think we need to make a 3-3 right now um, just to hold back this shit I don't want to use our mask that way but it's definitely how we're gonna have to use it this game Okay, that's fine. Love that they had to slow down there. Just smash us to 14. All right, love it, love it, love it. We're back in it, chat. We're back in it. Let's go. All right, land drop. Have that locked up for turn five for the precursor. That's sweet. Play the Gigamole this turn. Yeah, I do think I want this Courser. I'd rather, yeah, let's have a Courser, please. And we're just holding. Yeah, we're just holding. I wonder if they're color screwed. I wonder if they have red cards in their hand. Interesting. We're definitely... Nope. Jalen Tomb. Alright, they might be mono black. They might be mono black corrupt. That's scary as fuck, isn't it? Um, I think we're just going in on Precursor. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, Cawthorn. Yeah, if they corrupt our Precursor Golem, they're going to gain a fuck ton of life. <laughs> but at least they're not corrupting our face, so there's that. They don't Jalem Tome. Um, that's scary. Okay. I don't really care about that. Oh, it is a sacrifice engine for this thing. So I do kind of care about that. Not going to lie. Yeah. Fuck. All right. That, that is good for them. I thought I didn't care, but I, I do care. Okay. So I think we just have to attack and see if we can get them with this moment of defiance. Oh, this is also a golem. That's pretty sweet. And this is 20 damage if they don't block it. <laughs> which is which is fucking stupid. Um, Alright, they do block some. Okay. It's, I have to target this one, right? It's been a while since I've played this one. It, I can target any one of them. Okay. I'm going to draw four cards, too. So fucking nutty. That was, like, the best card we could cast on a Precursor Golem. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> well, that was the thing that we did. How you like that one, chat? Felt pretty good, huh? <laughs> Waiting for the concede. I know, I'm kind of sad that they didn't concede, you know? I felt like that was warranted there. They're a trooper, though. Congrats to them. Uh, you know, I don't blame them. Corrupt the Precursor Golem. That's fair. That's fair. They gained a ton of life. They gained a ton of life. So, they're back in it. They're back in it. I mean, we have seven cards in hand to their one, but, you know, they are back in it. They're gaining a fuck ton of life. Okay. Our opponent is fighting back, Jack.
<laughs> Precursor Gollum cuts both ways, my friends. Sometimes you just gotta fight back from 34. So we're two mana away from the Rust Golem being a 10 10. Okay, they get that thing back. So I guess that their sack engine is back online now. Um, now that kind of the pressure is off. Yeah, we could still lose this game. We could definitely still lose this game, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, the precursor golem got cor uh, corrupted, so they're at 34 now, and their engine is back online. So we're like completely, we're completely still losing this game. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, well that's maybe good. You can use some lands, huh? Oh, I can't I can't go for the throat the stupid black creature either. Okay. That was Yeah. Oh no, I can. Yeah, I just can't do the the artifact. That's what I thought, but for a split second I was like, oh no, it's not. It's uh it's terror. Yeah, Doomblade. Yeah, same thing. For that split second, I panicked. I was like, did I do something wrong? Did I screw this up? Hostile negotiate. Oh, they're doing that thing. Oh, boy. All right. They're card advantaging it up, chat. They already have a Clay Revenant. I'm just going to give them the two lands and the Clay Revenant. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. What, oh, I can look. I, I didn't think I could look. Uh, Diabol Content and a gore, uh, Goring Warplow and a Swamp. I feel like I just want to play the Rager and the Butcher. Like, although I don't, I'm not out of stuff to do, so I guess I'm not tapping mana to actually Butcher. So maybe I'm just supposed to Paul Bear here and just attack through with, uh, with everything but the Worker. Get a Trampler on the board. All right, we got him back down to starting life totals, so that's nice. Stone Fracture the Trampler. Okay.
So, hmm. So if I play this, I, I can't make a creature die. Um, I actually just want to start drawing cards with the stupid courser, you know what I mean? If I attack with just a 4-4, they just take it. I think I do this. Just want to continue to attack. Okay, they're gonna get my mask, but I'm not sure that that really matters. Okay. Oh, they don't, they don't do any of the things I thought they were gonna do, okay. I think they're a little bit confused in their, uh, in their, what they're trying to accomplish this turn. So this is plus three plus three, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Uh, yeah, I think this is a win, right? Oh, it goes to the battlefield. Oh, it's not a win. It's not a win because they get a blocker. Oh, no. Okay. Not a win. Oops. Still pretty overwhelming. Yeah, definitely still close. Still pretty much the win. This card seems good. Right to the battlefield, huh? I like this guy. Catchy song, yeah. Corrupt again, motherfucker. <laughs> 9 to 11 12 so they're not dead on board all right and so it continues never surrender that's right that's what they taught us in uh, some school somewhere at some point Just do that so we can win without the combat set next turn, I guess. I don't know. And then we played this just to get to 10 mana for next turn. There we go. Okay. The School of Magic the Gathering Arena Sparky School. That's right. That's right. Sparky teaches us. There's always hope. Sparky can always fuck it up somehow. And so can we. So I don't blame our opponent for uh, not scooping there. Man, what a what a crazy game. Uh, we had that crazy turn with the Precursor Golem, and then they corrupted the Precursor Golem right back. <laughs> we were at 34, and we had a lot to grind through. That was crazy.
I thought their engine was going to get going a bit sooner than it did. Um, they kind of puts around and had like a, you know, kind of a conflict between the plans they were trying to. I think if they just made three threes every turn and kind of stayed dedicated to that, we would have eventually not been able to attack very well. Uh... You won't be up to see the potential three-peat, so good luck. All right, Cawthorn, thank you, my friend. We will see you soon. Go get some sleep and prepare for the in-laws. I hope it goes well. The Pregnant God, okay. Hand is just okay. Hand is a bit of medium. Um, that if we hit a land ramps us to um, ritualist which doesn't really do anything but it does also ramp us to a 4 or 5 which does do something um, and even if we don't hit a land drop it allows us to play the gigamole so I think that's probably better than running out the opportunist considering you know we have nothing to do with the power stone yeah, let's just do that They killed it. Okay. Well, there you go. Apparently, it was good for them because we didn't hit a land drop. Goblin Char Belcher. My God. Okay. That's very good and limited. It just picks off things. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's that's gonna be hard to get through. They decided to go for a Mishra's Juggernaut instead, though. I mean, I guess we're just playing a three-three. So we can attack here, stay aggressive, and then we can leave this back to block this. They could try and ping this with the Goblin Charbelcher, and if they hit, we can't trade off with the Juggernaut, which is a problem. So no, I, I, th I don't think we can afford to attack this turn. But we are going to play this, because I'm not going to pass another turn and not make a play. I'll trade the opportunist for the Juggernaut and 3 damage. Corrupt the Golem, okay. I accept. <clears> okay, <throat> there's a land. I think we're just playing the Gigamole here. Maybe we just want to play things that survive the the Charbelcher, though. Um, yeah, I'm definitely playing. I'm taking a Rager here. Just need to draw cards so we can draw lands. If we had... W oh, we can do this, right? There, there's four creatures in the graveyard. One, two, three, four. Wow. One, yeah, there are. Okay, so we can actually not attack, and then we just drain for two. Year ago. Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. Another jugs, okay. Sure, sure. I think I'm just playing a I don't know how I'm trading off with this Juggernaut. I guess I'm actually just blocking with Scrap, uh, Scrap Work Rager and Butcher and seeing which one they want to attack or which one they want to kill. I really don't care. That's pretty good. Although Goblin Charbelcher is kind of a, a hard counter. Um, yeah, we're just going to say go.
They do get to unearth these stupid things. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of in trouble. Kinda. <laughs> we're definitely in trouble. Oh, this actually the Charbetcher doesn't get the Golem, so we know what all their. I'm gonna play the Precursor Golem now, buy us some time. Um, and then maybe try and find a winner to get this Ritualist down, so we can get the Goliath down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Ritualist to play the Goliath and the Corsair. And then I'm going to just uh, eventually just confrontation with the Ritualist on the Warplow so I can start attacking with them. That's the game plan as of right now. They like to tell me it's my go. Okay. To my face. Okay. They know. They know that it's time they have to try and kill us. Um, I think we just soak up damage here. I think that's the way that we win. We just don't allow ourselves to get too low where a Charbelcher gets lucky and spikes us. That is pretty good. So let's see. We start here. We actually still don't have enough quite to do the Goliath and the Corsair in the same turn. That's unfortunate. So I think we just do this. We know they don't have an answer for it as of right now. The next turn I can do this, this, and this, and we can give this trample or the trampler plus six plus six. And that should hopefully be game. They're gonna kill the ritualist. No, they're gonna go for our face. Okay. Would not have killed the ritualist anyway, so good thinking for them. Okay, so this and that and that. Yeah. So we'll tap this for mana. And then we'll go ahead and Epic Confrontation first. So this forces a chump block. Okay. 
give them the year go. Since they wanted to be a dick. Fuck. That's what we say, chat. Hey, Sean, you weren't here. They BM'd us all game. They BM'd us all game. So I was just giving it back just a little bit there at the very end. You know, we got to we gotta do it to them. Look, we never do it unprovoked. But if they're going to give it, they can take it. You know what I mean? All right, Chad, we got one shot at the trophy. Can we three-peat? Can we do it? Welcome in, by the way, Sean. Hope you're doing well tonight. <laughs> Sometimes you got to let it bang, dog. That's it. That's it. That's exactly it. Oh, my God. I don't think we can keep this hand, though. Yuck. I think we got to mold this one, chat. And they're on the play. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Not one little bit. All right. We'll keep. And we'll put back the Giga Mole. We're going turn two or turn three, turn four, turn five. Yeah. Actually, we're going turn three, turn four if we hit a land. So we'll keep for sure. And just hope this Precursor Golem rides us to victory, I guess. So, uh, Simeon Simulacrum. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. Don't kill our mask. Actually, kill our mask, because then you hopefully won't have an answer to the Precursor Golem. Do that, my friend. Do that. They do nothing. Okay. <sighs> I, th I mean... I think we actually just take it slow. If they're going to do nothing, I'm going to attack and see what they do. That's what we're going to do first. Okay. Oh, chat. What are we going to do? Do we want to pre Like, they pass with four mana up, you know? I think they want to kill our mask end of turn, so I think I want to let them do that. I'm just going to play another opportunist. If they waste four mana, then I'm still fine with that. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm good with that. You know, do what you do, chat. Static net or opportunist. This is amazing. Hells yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm definitely going now, right? There's no way I'm not going. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I play another opportunist and a, and a tree worker or tower worker since that uses our mana most effectively. And, like, maybe we just get to the point where, like, this is our backup plan because we're just going to go in on the mask first. What the mask do? So I can pay X and sack it to make an XX Golem token. And I can also unearth it for two and a green. And then, you know, whatever I have left over, I can make another smaller Golem. Lay down arms. Okay. Well, we're getting the removal out of the hand, chat. That is what we are doing. I think I'm just playing these two and attacking. There's the green mana. All right, so they're not mono white. They have held out quite a bit for missing a color, so that's scary. God damn it. Okay. 
Attack for five, put us to ten. But we're all in on this mask, so we haven't even used the precursor golem yet. Um, I'm going to make the mask for seven. Or no, eight. I'm going to make it for nine instead of ten so that we can still, if they kill it, we can still block with the tower worker. I have really no use for the tower workers anymore. Um, I guess that's not true because we can flash it back. We want it bigger when we flash it back. They are representing removal. Oh, wait. Is this only as a sor Oh, it's only as a sorcery chat. That's... I'm fucked. Uh, <laughs> that was stupid. Okay. Lesson learned. That's only at sorcery speed. Duly noted. Duly noted. Um... I don't think I'm blocking. Okay. That was a good draw. Let's attack first. Yeah, it's definitely solid. I'm I'm down for this. Down with the sickness. Life gain is needed. Exactly. We were kind of in dire straits there for a moment. Sir, okay. <clears throat> okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we can play a big boom boom. That is a thing we can do. They have a death toucher. I don't like that too much. Um, but they are at seven, so I guess I don't really care that they have a death toucher. Yeah, let's just play the big boom boom. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Man, this is going to be a hell of a game, chat. <laughs> All right, I think this is the turn. We're we're Gixie's caressing to see if the coast is clear, and then we're gonna process uh, precursor golem. And then the next turn we draw a land, we're gonna mask, and I think we're gonna be able to get by them. Oh, they didn't like that too much. A giant growth and a rust golem. Well, I gotta take their rust golem, right? What are they at? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we gotta take their rust golem. We do have to note this giant growth, though. What is up tonight with these people? Hi. Go for the throat. That's nice. Now we can now we can attack with at least the Goliath. Um I think I'm just attacking with the Goliath for now. Soften them up a little bit, trying to make them get a try and make them yeah, exactly. Only if they single block. Only if they block with the Recluse, which I'm not sure. I think they're going to gain block and see if they can trade it off. And then we'll get to get them like real hard, but we'll have to see what they do. 
We'll have to see what they... And obviously, if they chump with an artifact, then it's... Uh, I can't kill it. Yeah. We're definitely doing that. Okay, so now they're at three, and we just kill them next turn. Um, I am going to go ahead and make the mask thing while we have the chance to, I guess. It's not a wrath I should be playing around, is there? Maybe I don't make the mask token because of a wrath or something? Uh, I'm just going to end the turn, I guess. Get your trophy. I'm trying. I'm trying. They attack all. That's to be expected. I actually don't know if I want to kill the Simulacrum, but I guess we do. Actually, okay, they block. Hey! The giant growth was not enough. We did it, chat. We freaking did it. Three Pete in the house. Four drafts, three trophies, and a 1-3. We don't talk about the 1-3, though. That was on day one. <laughs> Ding. MJ. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I will be I will take a comparison to MJ any day of the week. Alright, what are we up to pack wise? Oh, we should have unlocked a uh, 27 packs. Nice, nice. We should have unlocked a mythic. Let's go see what our mythic was. I think we did anyways. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go see what our mythic was. We got a Gix for our troubles, chat. Nice. You love to see that. This is definitely one we will want to play play around with at some point when we are back in the world of constructed. I think Gix is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Okay, so we have an obscene win rate right now. Um, we are currently Two, four, six, nine, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. We're twenty-two and nine in the format. <laughs> um, so that's pretty good. I have to imagine we're gonna come crashing back down to earth at some point in the near future. But uh, I'm gonna take my wins where I can get them. You know, <laughs> we will not complain about our wins being clustered together in groups of seven. So, woot! All right, so. That is going to do it for the magic portion of content today. Uh, what's our collection percentage? That's a great question. So we can actually look in client now, which is fucking crazy. We are currently at 38% of Brothers War. We have uh, 72 out of 101 commons for the first, like, you know, run through or whatever. Um, so we've still got a ways to go. We've still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. You know, this is week one. So we're doing, we're doing just fine. I've not drafted a lot of rares and mythics, huh? Like, I've not drafted a single mythic, apparently, um, because we just got the one unlocked. So that's crazy. Although, this does not count the um, the the throwback artifacts or whatever, because I know Altar of Dementia is mythic, and we drafted one of those. Um, so yeah, it does not include the, the throwback artifacts or whatever. I wonder why. I wonder why we can't see those. Is there like a supplemental set down here somewhere? No. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Does it do the same thing for Strixhaven? Yeah, it doesn't show like the the showcase, whatever those things were called. I don't know. But yeah, 38%. I'm going to take that. I like it. I like it. All right, chat. But that's going to conclude the magic portion of the stream tonight. Uh, I am going to go pour myself a tasty, tasty beverage. And when we get back, we're going to switch over and we're going to play a little bit of Marvel Snap. Kind of take it easy for the rest of the night. And, um, I just today am in pool three, which means I am, <laughs> Sean's happy about some, uh, Marvel snap. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm just now I'm in pool three. I just started pool three. I've got like three cards out of pool three. Um, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. There's a whole bunch of cards I've never played against. I didn't open anything that I feel like is really all that good. So I'm still playing all my 
pool one decks and pool two decks in pool three and uh pretty much just getting tossed a little bit but that's okay you know we're we're, we're learning we're having fun we're learning what the cards do um and yeah we're gonna have fun but uh i'm gonna go ahead and put the be right be right back screen up i'm gonna take a quick break run use the restroom get some water get uh get a gin and tonic mixed up and when i get back we will snap see you in a second <laughs> 